Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to talk about joins and interesting stuff and bit of tricky as well. Obviously, people are very much uh, scared of the joins, and when it comes to self join, then the complexity is further increased because it's like we have to join a table with itself and makes things very much uh, tricky. So we'll take one scenario of the self join and we'll try to understand how we can achieve that. Now, what is the requirement? The requirement is I have this manager ID and the manager ID is 100. And from here, I can see that that manager's name is Steven. Now my requirement here that all the employees which comes under manager 100 I want to find the average salary of that particular group of employees. For example, let's say I'll filter out 100. And how many employees we have where the manager is 100 is nothing but 13 employees. What is the total salary? The total salary comes out to be around 142,400. And if I take the average, it comes out to be 10,953. Now, what I'm looking for is I want to get this number, which is nothing but 1,953. So you must be thinking it's simple, right? We'll just do the group by and we'll get it. Let's try to write a query. So I'll have the same table, select star from employee. And if you execute this query, you will get the same data set. It, it consists of around 50 records and those 50 records will find it here as well. Now, if I go and write manager ID equal to 100, so where manager ID is equal to 100, in that case, we have these records coming in and 13 rows selected, and that is what we are getting there also. So you will say that it's simple, right? You just do a average of salary, and then if I'll apply group by manager ID and I'll remove this and execute this salary column salary I'll get so let me add the manager ID as well so manager ID comma You can see that I'm getting this number 10953 for manager 100. So we'll say that it's simple. Why join is required. Now question rises that I want the manager name as well. You're getting manager ID. Perfect. But what is the manager name? Tell me that. In that case, you will say, okay, let's do one thing. Let's call employee name also the first name. So let's go and write first name comma. And obviously I have to put that in the group by as well. So first name execute now here 100 Lex 100 Kevin 100 John now something is wrong here if I'll go to see here Lex Kevin John the name of the employees coming in I'm not getting the name of the manager and that is the problem and with the normal type of a query it is very difficult for me to get the output now, what is the solution out here? We have to, let's go here. Now, what I'm looking for, I'm looking for, these are my employees whose manager is this guy. Let's say this is one table. This is one table. If I will join this column with this column, and get the average salary. I will get the name of the employee as well, which is the manager. So somehow I want to create this table as one table and this table as second table. And then I have to join this value with these values. Take the sum, you will get the sum of salary. And then if you want, you can take the average also. But at the same time, I am selecting this table. I'll select the first name also for that. Now I cannot create a new table for the manager and I already have the manager ID in the table. I have already manager employee ID as well in the table. So if I will join the table by itself somehow and write a query, 
that may solve the purpose so let's try let's try what can be done i am looking for select employee id because if you see here i have this employee id and first name i am looking for so select employee id comma first name comma average of salary from employee group by employee id comma first name if i will execute this query which we already ran i am getting the wrong answer 103 alexander 9000 what's that if i'll go here and remove the filter 103 alexander 9000 now what's happening is it is taking the employee and doing the group by and obviously i have only one alexander entry so it will give me that salary only so basically how many records i am getting here let's do the count of this so total number of records if you want to see you can see here it should be all 50 records all the records coming in that means it is showing me each and every employee right and that is not what i'm looking for so now self join comes into picture let's make this as one table a employee b where what i want i want to join employee a table employee id with employee b table manager id so here i will write where a dot employee id is equal to b dot manager id let's see that whether this is working fine or not and then we are doing group by i think rest all looks okay so let's execute this query now here ambiguity coming in because you have to give the value here a dot a dot because obviously the columns are there in both the tables that is employee a employee b execute here also you have to take care of so a dot a dot and a dot and now still something is wrong here 103 alexander 108 nancy and so on i am getting 11 records why alexander 9000 nancy 12008 let's go and check nancy's data so if i go it's showing me the salary of 11 employees and those 11 employees are these. So something, Steven's salary is also coming 24,000. Let's check that. What's the salary of Steven? Yes, 24. That means it is showing me how many managers we have. Check that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You see that? We are doing a join, but something wrong is happening here still. So these type of scenario you will face in the interview. You will be confused during the pressure of the interview. So what's going wrong? Employee A, I'm taking the employee ID, first name, salary, all right. I'm joining employee ID with the manager ID. And then group by employee ID and first name. The problem here is that let's do some changes i'll have let's say i'll make this as table b let's make it as table b and make this as table a only for now let's see what happens I'll go here, employee A, employee B. A dot, let's make this as manager ID and this as employee ID. 
you see that these column placement is very important we'll discuss that in detail group by let's make both as b for now now let's try to understand i have b table from b table i am taking employee id and first name but the average i am taking from a table so let's say this is my b table this is my a table i am taking the average of the salary from this table which is fine absolutely now i am taking employee id and first name from b table that means employee id and first name coming from b table all right perfect and then a dot manager id joins with b dot employee id a dot manager id joins with b dot employee id that is also also perfect and then group by b dot employee id b dot first name and b is nothing but this i want to group by steven i don't want to group by these folks right so i'll get the output and it should now give me the correct output let's execute this now here for steven the value which we are getting is 10953 that is what we are looking for for alexander it should be 4950 let's check that so we'll go here select on alexander so i want manager as alexander so click on this so these are the salaries of alexander for salaries of employees of alexander 4950 and that is what we are getting here so you see that how this self join is helping us to solve the problem but at the same time it is very important to choose the table as per the requirement so i hope this makes sense we'll see you in the next module with some more join stuffs till then happy coding